What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer. And today I've got a special video for you guys. This isn't quite a what's in my gadget backpack video, it's a what's in my camera backpack. And I just kinda wanted to give you guys some insight into some of my camera gear, some of the things that I use to record videos. And if I'm going somewhere and I need to carry all of it, this is what I definitely use all the time. So, hey, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, here's the camera backpack. And I do want to note that I am not using my regular DSLR that is inside of here. I'm borrowing another camera to record this video. So I apologize if it's not as high a quality. But um, yeah, and also I want to note that <laughs> this is by no means a bag or equipment that an average consumer would have. Um, this is the stuff that I use to record my videos. So I'm not expecting everyday people to have all of this stuff inside of this backpack for sure. So I just want to make sure I put that out there. And um, enough of that talking, let's get to the bag. So this is a Case Logic backpack. I'm not sure what the model number is, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'll have links in the description down below of everything that you see in this video, every piece of gear, the backpack, all that stuff is going to be in the description so you can find pricing and availability there. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of Case Logic um, products. As you guys saw in my last gadget backpack video, I used one of their bags. So this thing has a lot of compartments and I'm going to go through all of them. Here's a quick overview of what the backpack looks like. A lot of padding in the back, which is good because there's a lot of equipment in here. Um, what's really cool is that the side right here has straps so that you can carry a small tripod. And a tripod that could fit would be around this big. So something really small. This thing can actually fit there. I didn't want to put it on here because I didn't want to mess up my desk. But that could work. Um, the rest is just a bunch of compartments. The bottom is also weather sealed. So it's got the tough material here. So when you're outdoors and you're trying to take pictures, maybe you're doing like landscape shots or you're doing outdoor shots and it's raining, you can put this down. It can be in a puddle and you have no worries about getting your equipment wet because this will take care of all that. It's really hard and um, it's definitely weatherproof. Now to get inside the bag. In the front compartment, what do we have here? So we've got some lens caps and um, stuff like that. Just two here. Let's see, we've got a couple of, we've got a memory card here. Most of the memory cards are inside of the camera, I mean inside of the cameras. Um, we've got a remote, so I'm going to put all this stuff over here. We've got a remote so I can take pictures from afar. I don't have to be the one to exactly be there and hit the shutter button. Um, I've got this cable that allows you to put a USB um, into a device, into two devices really. I'm going to show you guys what this is used for. And I'll have a link in the description for that. I don't remember the name of that off the top of my head either, but I'll show you guys in the description. Um, I've got a couple of batteries here for one of my cameras. So I've got spare batteries. Um, got a horseshoe mount. I pretty much use this to put my H1, my Zoom H1 on top of my DSLR. And um, yeah, that's all I really use it for. But you can put anything really that has like the little tripod mount. You can use that to hold it. Um, Let's go on to this side. So the first thing you'll notice here, I have a charger for my MacBook Air that is also inside of here. But I have this charger here so that if I'm importing pictures and stuff like that, I know I'll have a uh, juice. Here is a camera strap for my DSLR, as well as this little hand grip. So if I'm taking pictures, I don't have to worry about it slipping. So it's a cheap little thing that I got from like B&H or something. But that's that. Of course, I've got a 32 gig memory card in here in case I you know, need to transfer photos or something. I can put it on there. So that's that. And um, that's pretty much it for this pouch. It has two compartments. So you can put whatever you want in here. That just happens to be what I put in there. And um, one cool thing about the design of this bag is it has these two little straps. So when you're ready to pull out your DSLR or camera, you can just swing it over zip this down and these kind of stop the zippers from going any further and you can pull out your DSLR and boom here's my DSLR I have a Canon T4i and equipped to it is a Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 lens 
So that's what I have equipped to it. And this is like my favorite camera, um, my favorite lens to use. I have the T4i. I want to upgrade it to the 70D, but as of right now, this does a great job for me. So I don't really think I'm going to upgrade anytime soon. So this is what I use as my main camera for doing all of the, your average consumer videos. Pretty much this is it, guys. This is the one that brings you all the content. So put that over here. And also on top of it is a lens hood. If you saw me take that off, it just um, strapped this on. So that's what's on here. So that's that. And uh, so what's cool about this is the actual camera was sitting in this hammock style position. It's like a hammock. It holds the uh, camera. So the camera is actually suspended inside of the bag. So that's really cool. And it kind of protects it from like falls or anything like that. If I were to drop the bag, I know it's in the hammock securely and I know it's not getting hit by any impact inside the bag. So that's really cool. Now, when I open these two little straps, I can push, pull this even further down. And this shows just about everything inside of the backpack. So now you see all the gear, everything that's inside of here. So I've got a bunch of lenses and cameras, a bunch of accessories inside of here. But first, let's go to what's inside of this strap. So up top here, I have a couple of mini tripods. So if I want to position the little tripods on a table or something, maybe if I want to use my Zoom H1 to record voice, I can have it on a table. So that's what I use these for. Pretty nifty to have, to have, have around. So I'll put those over here. And let's see what else I have. Here I have a camera grip, so if I'm vlogging or anything, I can just use this instead of actually holding the camera itself. This makes things a lot easier, a lot steadier to get your shot. So this is really, really cool. It's only like 20 bucks, so it's really nice. So I'm going to put that there. What else have we got? I have this portable charger with me since a couple of the cameras in here um, charge via micro USB. So I have this 10,000 10, milliamp portable battery by Nutrent. It's the Power Pack 10.0. So this is really, really nice. I'm going to have a review for this soon too. So look out for that. And um, let's see. Of course, I have the chargers for my DSLR. I have a spare battery. You should always have a spare battery in case the battery dies. You can throw this one in while, um, while you're getting your battery charged. So it's, oh, you always have to have a spare. And of course, I have some chargers for the camera that go by micro USB. So I never have to worry about juice. Now, let's see here. To show you the actual camera gear. Now, I think I'm gonna start off with the lenses since I've already shown you my T4i. So this is the, I told you guys I'm using the Sigma 30 millimeter. And I use this typically for all the shots where you guys see my face and I have like the blurred out background. This has an aperture of 1.4. So I can get that blurry background effect real nice. And um, that's mainly what I use it for. And here I have the lens that came with the camera. It's a 18 by 135 um, millimeters, a telephoto lens. So this has some great zoom on it. And this is a STM lens. And the STM lenses work with new Canon cameras that have autofocusing. And this is supposed to make it autofocus really smooth and quietly. And it's good for tracking. So if I'm moving back and forth in a shot, it should be able to track me pretty nicely without doing that hunt. So it's really good for that if I ever need it. This is a really nice lens. Uh, I definitely had to go for this instead of the standard 18 by 55 millimeter. This is definitely a good value. Um, also, I have here a 50 millimeter lens. This is um, quite similar to the Sigma I have here. Um, the 50 millimeter lens, of course, is more zoomed in but it's a 1.4 it's really nice um you know it's good for getting those closer shots you don't have to be as close to the subject with the 30 millimeter so with the 50 millimeter you could be a bit further away this is really nice i used to record um videos with this too not so much anymore so i'm actually thinking about selling that um and here i have the lens that i use for most of my unboxings this is an 18 millimeter this is a sorry 10 by 22 millimeter wide angle lens and a wide angle lens gets a lot more into the picture than a regular standard um, telephoto lens or a um, prime lens. 
So the wide angle lens is definitely a very, very good choice if you want to get a lot in the shot. And this is the one I use. So all of my unboxings that show like a lot of my desk, I get with this guy. Definitely a very good investment. And I like the effect it gives for unboxings. It makes it look a lot more grand. And um, also down here, I have a Canon Speedlight, I think 430 EX2. And this is an amazing um, flash. Uh, if you're going into photography and you need flash, this is a must. Like any external flash is definitely necessary. Your pictures look a world different. And I believe I have a diffuser over here where I can uh, throw this on top of the camera. And with this, the uh, pictures look a lot better. The flash isn't as harsh. You know, when you take a picture and you have that really hard glare on the subject, well, this kind of takes away from that. It makes it really, really nice. So after getting one of these, I can't take pictures without it. This is just a must. I, I like flash photography, so that's good. Um, let's see what else we've got here. So that's it for like my Canon gear and the gear that I use to record videos. Um, now I have my vlogging camera over here, which is a Sony NEX5R. Now this is a nice little camera, I have a review for this on the channel, and um, it's a great camera for vlogging. Um, it has a touch screen that you can use to hit the controls, all that, and it's got interchangeable lenses. So you can actually switch out the lens, this is an 18 by, this is an 18 by 55 millimeter lens, and um, you can switch it out for other kinds of lenses. It's like a hybrid between a point and shoot and a DSLR camera, so this is really, really cool stuff here. Um, also, I've got some accessories for it, also in this bag, and let's see, of course here I have a flash, the flash for it is very tiny, but here's the flash, I always keep that around. Um, I don't do, I don't take many pictures with it, like ever, because I just use it for vlogging, but just in case, you never know, I carry it around with me. And here I have a mic to go with it, so this is a microphone that's really great for, um, getting audio what sucks about this is that you can't really get good audio from the back so it's great for forward audio but not from the back but this is a pretty cool um, mic that I can strap right on top of the NEX 5R also I have a 16 millimeter wide angle lens for the 5R and this is a really really nice lens I definitely recommend picking it up if you have that 5R this is a really great lens um, when I actually bought the um, 5R, I actually got this for free from Sony, so it was a good bundle. And um, let's see what else we've got. I've got a, another camera here. This is the third camera in the bag. This is the Sony RX100 inside of its um, case. So this is an amazing camera. Um, now that the Mark II is out, you can get this a bit cheaper. I think you can find it for probably like $600 now. But this is an amazing point and shoot camera. I like having this around because the quality on it is amazing. And it's really quick. You can just grab it, pick it up, and start taking pictures right away. Um, it's definitely a lot smaller than the 5R or the Canon T4i. So if I just want to snap a quick picture, I would definitely jump for this before I would these two. But it depends on the setting and, you know, how... how important it is to get a bunch of pictures. If I just want one quick shot, this is good. If I want you know, to sit there and take a lot of pictures, I'll probably go with the T4i. But this is an amazing camera. I definitely recommend all of the stuff here. I definitely recommend. These are all things that I think are really great. So um, yeah, these are all good stuff. So we've got the RX100 there. And here I have my Zoom H1 that I've been mentioning. This is where I record all of the audio for my videos. So I just use this, and I use that horseshoe mount that I was talking about earlier. And I just screw this on top, and then I throw it on top of my camera. And boom, I've got my audio set up just like that. Pretty simple stuff. And inside of here, I also have a um, windscreen. So if I'm taking this outdoors, I don't have to worry about um, wind and all that stuff so here it is this is really what the recording setup looks like boom so that's that I usually have this actually on a tripod 
when I'm recording the your average consumer videos. But if I'm ever on the go and I need to take it around, I can um, throw this right on top of it. So that's cool. And really, guys, that's it for inside of this backpack, most of the stuff. Now, this is a really cool backpack, guys. You've got a lot, a lot of storage options here. And what's really cool about this backpack is that you can adjust how big you want all of the compartments to be because all the stuff can come out. So you can make this look however you want. You can, if you have one of those really huge telephoto lenses, you can take out all of these little pieces here and have the lens come straight down to the bottom. So you've got a lot of options here. Definitely very, very customizable backpack. Um, I definitely recommend it. It wasn't even really expensive. I think it was like 60 bucks. And a lot of the camera backpacks that I've seen like in the Sony store and other places have been in the $100 range. And what this, what the Case Logic offers here for the price is definitely just like unbeatable. And I really love this Kamek design where you can just throw your camera in here and have it really secure. Really cool feature. So that's that. Let me zip this up and I'll show you guys the back. This also can hold a laptop. So as I said, here I have my MacBook Air. So if I want to take this around, I can and um, you know process videos while outside. I don't have to wait to come home to do anything with the photos that I've taken. I can do it on the go. So very portable stuff. And I also include my Nexus 10. And you might be wondering what can, why do I have a Nexus 10 here? But it can actually do some really cool stuff for photography or even video. You can grab one of these cables. So here's a regular, um, regular USB cable. Um, this is a mini USB. And you can take this little cable that has the USB input as well as a micro USB. So you can just actually put this in here. So you can have a micro USB end as well as a mini USB end. And what you can do is actually just plug in both ends into the camera as well as your tablet. And using an app called DSLR Controller, I can actually use the tablet as a viewfinder. So I just have a setup like this, and I've actually Instagram a picture of me using this setup. And it's actually pretty useful. It's not the fastest way to see um, live footage, but it's good for when you want to see how focused things are. This is really a really nice secondary screen. And it also has controls and stuff, so it's definitely a good little option. And that's all the stuff in my camera backpack, guys. This is all the gear that I use for typically all the videos. Um, got the vlogging camera, the um, actual camera that I use to record everything on the channel, and um, all the lenses I use, the different kinds of lenses. Definitely very mobile setup. This bag allows you to carry a lot, so definitely good stuff. Um, that's about it for this video, guys. And again, this is not for your average consumer, really, but it's for, just to show you guys all the stuff that I carry around if you're interested in, um, you know, knowing my setup and all the gear that I use for my videos. And hopefully you enjoyed, guys. If you did, definitely hit the like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. And definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. I post videos all the time, so hopefully you like the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer. And today I've got a special video for you guys. This isn't quite a what's in my gadget backpack video, it's a what's in my camera backpack. And I just kinda wanted to give you guys some insight into some of my camera gear, some of the things that I use to record videos. And if I'm going somewhere and I need to carry all of it, this is what I definitely use all the time. So, hey, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the camera backpack. And I do want to note that I am not using my regular DSLR that is inside of here. I'm borrowing another camera to record this video. So I apologize if it's not as high a quality. But um, yeah, and also I want to note that <laughs> this is by no means a bag or equipment that an average consumer would have. Um, this is the stuff that I use to record my videos. So I'm not expecting everyday people to have 
all of this stuff inside of this backpack for sure. So I just want to make sure I put that out there. And um, enough of that talking, let's get to the bag. So this is a Case Logic backpack. I'm not sure what the model number is, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'll have links in the description down below of everything that you see in this video, every piece of gear, the backpack, all that stuff is going to be in the description so you can find pricing and availability there. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of Case Logic um, products. As you guys saw in my last gadget backpack video, I used one of their bags. So this thing has a lot of compartments and I'm going to go through all of them. Here's a quick overview of what the backpack looks like. A lot of padding in the back, which is good because there's a lot of equipment in here. Um, what's really cool is that the side right here has straps so that you can carry a small tripod. And a tripod that could fit would be around this big, 